Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm at the Carl's Family YMCA in Milford, Michigan, and one of the best exercises you could do for your heart as well as your muscles is cardio boxing. And if you don't believe me, you could actually ask former WIBA lightweight champion, Kara Rowe. Well, the great thing about hitting the bag, I mean, it works your entire core, it works your entire body, and it has the conditioning element as well. There's so much cardio involved. It's really neat you get the kind of aerobic and anaerobic aspects. You know, you're gonna build muscle because of the resistance from the bag, but you're gonna build the cardio because it's a non-stop workout. The great thing about the bag is it gives you a lot of confidence. I really encourage women, especially, to hit the bag. You really get a different sense of yourself and a really sense of um, confidence when you hit the bag. You don't feel as vulnerable. You just feel really strong and you feel ready to, and capable of taking on anything. Essentially with sparring, what you're doing, you know, training for a fight, but also a lot of people will just spar, maybe they don't want to fight, and they just do it for confidence. Because it's a desensitization. We learn how to react to certain things and you're programmed how to react. So the first time you get hit, it's kind of a shock. And but you train yourself not to react. I have a one-year-old, so when she falls on her butt and she looks at me waiting for me to react, I just look at her like, ah, hey, you're good, get up. You know, so she doesn't react. You kind of do the same thing with yourself when you spar. You learn how to take a punch, you learn how to not react. And fighting is all about poker face. I mean, if I show you, oh my gosh, I got hit, you're gonna jump on me. You've gotta present yourself with confidence just like you wanna walk through the world. Present yourself with confidence, and, and that's the great thing about sparring, but you also learn how to maneuver and be elusive and not get hit. And that's the key, right? Don't get hit and hit the other person. I think the PETA's principle of the day is quite simple. Think out of the box. Do something you've never tried before because you just may enjoy it. Until next week, I'm Peter Nielsen with PETA's Principles.